guys. Oh, it's a bit on the cold side. Just got back from Christmas. So I'm absolutely freezing. I've got to put the heating on. Get the house warmed up again. Back to living standards. It's absolutely ice cold at the moment. Anyway, I just noticed everybody's been putting up videos showing what they've got for Christmas. So I've watched a couple over the weekend. Not many. I have no chance. But now I'm back. I want to crack on. Get back on top of all the videos. Catch up with everybody. See what they're all doing. So I thought I'd just quickly make a video. Just show you what I picked up for Christmas. What, what I was given. Yeah. That's an absolutely fantastic gift, really happy. Uh, Santa did be proud this year. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a couple of gaming related items and obviously being Christmas, some items that aren't gaming related. So the first Christmas gaming items, absolutely awesome. Uh, really tough to get these. I was, I was hoping I was going to get them and I did. Uh, so I'm really, really happy. So they are Amiibo. <laughs> first one up I got was a Samus, who looks fantastic. As always, they look amazingly detailed. Uh, yeah, really happy. This is number seven. So yeah, there was only a couple I wanted to get from the first wave that I hadn't got already, and this was definitely one of them. I think it looks amazing, so yeah, I was proper happy to get that. And the other one I had to get, because I saw it on other people's videos, and I thought it just looked so good. Yeah, I mean, Samus, I don't play Metroid, so I don't know much about the character. I just like the design. I think it's fantastic. Same with this character. These are not games I play, but I really like the character design. And it's Pikachu. Uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Glorious, so yeah. Uh, Pikachu is number 10, so I've got most of wave one then. I'm only a couple missing. Obviously, the main ones are We Fit Trainer, Marth, and Villager. Uh, I would have got Villager for Christmas, unfortunately, they've run out of stock. Damn, <laughs> I actually quite like the Villager character, it's, it's really grown on me. I'm still not convinced about the We Fit Trainer and Marth and all those RPG characters don't mean anything to me, so I'm still on the fence about going full set. But it's tempting, I'll be honest. The more videos I see. And especially when in the last video I said about Dave, Retro Dave, seeing him talk about it and how excited he is. And, yeah, it just make you want to just get them all. Uh, we'll wait and see. I think if it, um, if it comes down to buying the Villager and Marth and all them, I'll just wait till they get restocked and just wait till they get them the right price. Because I'm not paying silly money for Amiibos. I'll pay the 10 quid or the 11 quid, whatever I have to pay. But any other than that, I'd rather just wait and see. Anyway, so that's the gaming related items I got. Two awesome additions, so really happy with them. So I've got a couple of items that are not gaming related, so if you're interested in them, awesome. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're all having a good Christmas as well, I hope you're enjoying the period of time that you've got off. Uh, if you're still off, fantastic, I hope you're enjoying it. But yeah, it's bloody freezing, and New Year's is around the corner, so it's all good. Anyway, first thing I got, guys, was a Blu-ray, and it's a still book, which I didn't even know this one was out yet. Uh, I didn't know there was a still book for it, actually, should I say. And it's a double pack, it is, uh, the, I'm on the wrong side, Pratt. <laughs> it's the Purge and the Purge Anarchy. So yeah, really happy when I got this for Christmas. I, was, I was, couldn't believe it. And then there's a Steelbook double pack out, so really chuffed. Uh, the Purge is a good film. The Purge Anarchy is a much better film. I really enjoyed The Purge Anarchy. If you've never seen it, basically The Purge, every year in America, they have a, I can't remember the time period, it's something like seven at night or seven in the morning, we'll just say that for example. And they have The Purge. So basically all law is legal, including murder. So you can do anything you want. And The First Purge is a home siege film where you've got a family living in the home and every year when the purge happens, they lock the home down to protect themselves and they just wait it out until the next morning. And unfortunately it all goes tits up and their house gets invaded. So it's a, it's a decent film, it's not brilliant, but it's, it's alright, it's pretty good. The second one was much better, I really liked Anarchy. Because Anarchy's out on the streets and it's basically a, um, I'm trying to think of the term, it's basically one guy who's trying to get revenge on someone. And he ends up helping everybody on the street and he ends up with a load of people with him that he has to uh, guide through the madness. It's a really good film, I really enjoyed the second one. Uh, as far as I know, they're making a third one as well. And it, it's the same guy that does Paranormal Activity, from what I understand. So it's one of those where it's going to be every year they're going to make a new one. So it might get better, it might get worse, probably going to get worse. But, <laughs> but I think the actual Purge story itself has actually got quite a, a good basis for a, a good amount of stories that can come out of the back of that. So it'd be quite interesting. And also, you can go back and do the origins of the Purge and how it all began. So, But yeah, I really like them films anyway. So. I got them, and the next one I got was awesome, I was really chuffed to get this, because it is my favourite TV show at the moment that's on air, and it is Arrow Season 2. Fantastic, really good season, just as solid as the first season. Uh, season 3 has recently been on, it's still airing, but they're on a mid-season mid break at the moment. And man, that has been <laughs> absolutely epic. It, this show is, for me, definitely the best show on TV at the moment. Definitely up there with long-running shows such as Supernatural and Criminal Minds for me. Because every single week it's brilliant. I'm not, I, can't, I can honestly say, for all three seasons of Arrow, there hasn't been a single episode where I've been bored. 
or I've just been like, no, it was okay, it wasn't their best. I've just loved every episode. I love the characters. I think it, the, the, all the cast are really well selected. It's just brilliant. It's a just brilliant, really, really fun show. You don't even have to like comic books. Just, you know, I don't know nothing about comics. Just enjoy the show. It's fantastic. Loads of action. Really cool, well choreographed fight sequences. Uh, yeah, Arrow is just awesome. Highly recommend it if you've not tried it yet. So, yeah, so I'll be cracking on with that this week. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, and the last thing I got, which I was really chuffed about, I mean, I got some really good gifts this year. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got three records, so really chuffed. And the albums I wanted, which is obviously the reason I got them. First one I got is Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill, which is remastered, obviously. Um, absolutely awesome. I love the original. And so I've only got back to that, so I haven't had a chance to listen to any of these yet. So it's still sealed. But yeah, I, I've got this on CD, and I was listening to it a couple of months ago, actually. And I've forgotten just how good the album is. I knew it was brilliant, but man, this album is epic. I mean, I know when it came out, me and my friends used to play it back to back all the time. We were a little, you know, we rinsed the air album big time, but Jagged Little Pill, absolute classic. I'm really glad to have it on vinyl. Had to give it a shot. Uh, yeah, awesome. So yeah, really happy with that one. <laughs> Next one I got is Come Away With Me, Norma Jones. Another really nice album. Uh, I don't know if you class this as jazz or not, I'm assuming you do. But uh, yeah, really cool, really mellow, chilled out. It's just some nice album to have on. It really creates a nice atmosphere in the house. And I've always loved this. I've never owned this on physical copy. I've only ever had digital copies. So to actually have a proper copy, I'm, I'm well shot. I wanted to get this because I really want, I love the album anyway, and that's why I wanted it. But I wanted to hear what her voice sounds like on vinyl. So yeah, Nora Jones, excellent. And then the last one I got for Christmas was a really awesome gift because I did not expect to get this at all. And it is Kansas Left Overture. Absolutely awesome album. And apparently I've read online that this remaster is much better sound quality than the original 1970s release. Don't know if that's true or not, but I'll give it a shot. It's a gatefold as well, as I can see in there. But yeah, this is absolutely awesome. One of my favourite Kansas albums. I've listened to all their albums on digital, and this was my favourite album. And it's also, on this one, has got the soundtrack to Supernatural TV show as well. Um, what, I forgot what it's called now, my brain's just gone. Carry On My Wayward Son, that's it. Carry On My Wayward Son. Uh, absolutely fantastic album. Uh, it depends if you like 70s rock or not, but you know, I do, and it's absolutely quality. So yeah, so there you go. That's what I like for Christmas anyway. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video just to show you what I picked up. Absolutely brilliant stuff. So I've had a pretty decent Christmas so far, not too bad. I uh, had a bit of car trouble. It's a bloody French piece of shit. But there you go, it's cars for you. Yeah, I've got to get a new battery for it because the bloody thing keeps dying on me. <sighs> I hate French cars, they're crap. <laughs> So yeah, it's a pain in the arse, so eventually I'm going to have to change my car eventually, but I mean, that, that's going to be a while yet. Oh, well, anyway, there you go guys, so that's it. I just wanted to show you what I've got, and I hope you're all having a great time and enjoying your Christmas break. And I hope you all have a really great New Year as well, and uh, I should be, I know I said in the last video I was going to be back in the New Year, didn't expect to be doing any videos, but here I am again. But I will be back, 2015, going strong, more videos, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for sticking with me guys, I appreciate it. See you all again in 2015.